I started cramming for my thesis on September 5, and at past 5 o'clock in the afternoon of September 5, I have only 7 hours left of the day to put in my 6 hours of writing for 6 pages of my graduate thesis. But today I was sick, my asthenia kicks in sometimes at the most random days, most of the time for no reason, and even when there is no trigger like today. I was able to get some sleep and I managed to mail out some notebooks, but had to go back to bed. Today I also received my new pair of compression socks. This is supposed to have level 3 compression, which is an upgrade from my current pair which gives level 2 compression. I will be wearing these while writing my thesis. I'm scheduled to write the chapter on Soledad's sister this entire week, and here is how the chapter looks at half past 5. Soledad's sister is going to be chapter 3 of my thesis, and 14 pages have already been written. I did not write all 14 pages today. This draft was created on April 1, 2021, and apparently I have been working on it. The last time I worked on the file was on November 17, 2021. This is the actual novel I am analyzing. It's written by Jose de Lisay, and it's been shortlisted for the Man Asian Literary Prize in 2008, I believe, or 2009. And here are my notes on what the chapter must contain. Here are my notes on the chapter, and these will go into my thesis, of course. It has to be in the proper context in the spirit of literary theory, and also complying with the required methods for argumentation and rhetoric. I do have a video showing this specific notebook on my channel, and I will link it down below. And here are even more notes in this disc-bound notebook, but the holes are at the top. I've already submitted the thesis proposal sometime in July last year, and successfully defended the thesis proposal on August 10 of last year. This will be chapter 1 of the full thesis. How I shall proceed with chapters 2 through 5 is already on here, I just need to follow through. Now for the chapter on Soledad's sister, I need to edit the entire thing, plus flesh out these two separate but related points highlighted in yellow. Uh, the first point is about the childhood of Soledad and Aurora, and the second point is something about Walter. Uh, I have to take from the notes that I have already written on the notebook. To mark my time spent working on the thesis, I'm using this mechanical pencil. It is a Tombow monograph in the color white. It's the same pencil that I use for every day, just in a different color. Inside the white pencil, I have the red lead from Uni, which I also have a video of on my channel. To distinguish this crucial use of time on my tracking page on my planner, I'm using the red lead. Here is my desk where I'm working from. It is a terrible mess. Here is a pile of Elias paper that I will be using to make notebooks when I am decompressing from six hours of thesis work. Here is my MacBook Pro 15 inch with a display that has been going bonkers. Notice the purple lines. That is why I have an external monitor right here. This is very, very cheap. I bought this off of a local store in my city. See, these lines are on the laptop display, but they are not on the external monitor. That way I know that only the display has a problem and not the entire laptop itself. I will get the laptop display replaced, hopefully soon, but I really don't have time or the funds for it for now. So this setup works. I kind of like the mess. This is the exact same setup when I finished writing the final five chapters of my novel last June and July and August. I will link the playlist to that down below. Okay, after September 5 has ended, I was not able to add in any more hours of work because I really felt so unwell. So I watched something on my phone while raising my legs, which is a requirement because I suffer from chronic venous insufficiency. Links to my videos about that will be below. I woke up at 12.30 a.m. on September 6. I did put in a total of an hour and a half of thesis work in September 5, and within that time, I managed to edit what I have written in 2021, and I also managed to write out one of the two missing parts here, the one about 
Walter. But the one about the childhood of Aurora and Soledad, I haven't been able to work that out yet. And then I also decided to add an additional sub part right here after reading through my handwritten notes. The draft now has 15 pages, but one page of that is for notes, so the actual body has only 14 pages. I know I did not actually write anything much from scratch today. I edited about seven pages of what had already been written in 2021 and wrote one page from scratch. But today I wanted to give myself some grace because I was sick and it is my first day cramming for my thesis. And I thought past Marianne had given present Marianne a head start. So I will be grateful to past Marianne and Mark that with these stickers. I will consider my goal of six pages for the day achieved, plus an additional eight pages achieved on top of the daily goal. The next day, September 6, I was able to write completely new pages from my notes right here. Now these notes have just two colors. The black handwriting are excerpts from the novel, and the blue handwriting below it are my arguments and points regarding the excerpt. I will definitely not use everything that's on these notes. I have to choose which actually are directly appropriate. At the end of the day, the draft for the chapter is now at 21 pages. I was still feeling unwell, but not as sick as the day before. But because of my existing notes, it was a breeze to write my six pages for the day, and I actually overshot the goal by one additional page. I started the day with 14 pages, and now the draft has 21 pages. And by the way, this is the set of daily time blocks that I am trying to follow. I have a video about this, which I will link down below. I need to put in six hours of work on my thesis every day. Six hours is the maximum number of hours I can devote to deep work. Anything beyond that, I cannot take it anymore. It would be too much. But you know, I realized here that my schedule and my daily quota were missing something. Now, chapter one of the thesis is the introduction. It has 40 pages. This is the thesis proposal that I have already defended last August of last year. This is done, finished, final, and approved. What remains to be written are chapters 2, 3, 4, and the conclusion, which will be chapter 5. Each chapter will discuss one novel. Chapter 2 will discuss Tiempo Muerto. Chapter 3 will discuss Soledad's sister. And chapter 4 will discuss the quiet ones. And because these three chapters are actually discussions that must be fleshed out, they must be very detailed, therefore they must be slightly longer than the introduction. So I have set a new goal length of 50 pages for each of these chapters. The introduction already has 40 pages, and the conclusion must have only 40 pages as well. It cannot be too long because it's really just a, like the, the closing for everything that has already been discussed in chapters 2, 3, and 4. In total, there will be 230 pages. That is for the body. That's a reasonable length. It cannot be too long because academics now do not really like papers that are longer than they should be. And this is a master's degree, not a PhD. We can get away with a thesis that is less than 300 pages long. Now each chapter will have more or less 15 pages of end notes. And the reason why I know this is because the chapter one, which is already final, the introduction, has 15 pages of end notes. So if I include the end notes, the total page count will be 275. It is still less than 300 pages long. But I don't really have to include the end notes in the daily writing coda. The end notes practically write themselves. So I have changed the goalposts. I will have to devote only five days a week to the writing, which means I must write 10 pages a day because I must use the rest of the week for editing and polishing each chapter. Now, the editing and polishing are very important tasks that I completely forgot to account for when I was making the stickers in the previous video.
Finally, I realized why I felt so constricted with the work. So now I decided I will write for the first five days of the week and then edit for the rest of the week. It makes tremendous sense to me. So I made new stickers that shows the new goal of 10 pages a day and also new sticky notes for the task of editing and polishing of each chapter. And now I'm going to make the changes on the daily pages of my planner. I just took out the sticky notes for writing out of the Saturday and Sunday pages and replaced them with the sticky notes for the editing and the polishing tasks. And I also decided that I may be able to start editing on Fridays if there is still time in the day to do that after I have finished writing the chapter. I made the changes to all of the pages concerned and will be using the new stickers from now on in combination with the old overachievement stickers. So for September 6, I also wrote down on the university box on my planner a note that I made new stickers and also adjusted the schedule for the thesis writing. It was not planned, but it's a task that I ended up doing anyway, so it goes here. And after that, I decided to call it a day, so <laughs> September 6 ended with me achieving my goal of 6 pages plus 1 additional page. On September 7, however, things took a turn for the slightly worse. I felt quite sick with my usual symptoms and I had transient asthma as well. My energy level was very, very low, so I have done nothing for my thesis and we will not talk about it. However, I'm going to see where this goes from here.